Hello and welcome to Good Evening Britain, a Force for Goods weekly show coming to you live from our studios here in the heart of the great British city of Glasgow with me, your host, Alistair McConaughey. We're broadcasting on all our digital platforms throughout the United Kingdom and across the world. We're bringing you quality pro-UK comment and analysis every Wednesday from 7 until 8 p.m. on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter and on TikTok. And welcome to everybody who is coming in this evening on these platforms. Please send in your greetings, folks. Please say hello. Please tell us where you are viewing from and please tell us what's on your mind in this rather chilly evening here in the great British city of Glasgow and across our wonderful United Kingdom. And this is an exciting day for us here in our studios because we are we are launching our Yule Britannia Christmas Crowdfunder tonight at 7.30 at the bottom of the hour, we are going to be live for 28 days. And this is our fifth annual Yule Britannia Christmas Crowdfunder. And I'll be telling you all about that. We're calling it our Pro UK Unity in 2023 Crowdfunder, our fifth one. And to celebrate that, we've got a giveaway of prizes that we're going to be giving away tonight. And to enter our competition, all you need to do is to, well, I'll tell you about that in a moment. And we'll also be having our normal competition coming up at the bottom of the hour. And then at 7.30, we have got a guest on, the one and only Caelan Wynn from Dramatic Scotland the creators of these amazing woodwork, uh, flags and laser printed designs. And he's going to be telling us all about his work. Thank you for the comments that are coming in. And Derek was first in. Good evening, Alistair and fellow unionists around the world. Hope everyone is doing well today. And Debbie says, good evening. Nice to have you back broadcasting again. We're going to be here Tonight, next week, the t week after, then we'll be having a break over the new year and Christmas, and then we'll be back on the 4th. So we're not slowing down. Hello to Adam, and hello to Kat. Hello, beautiful people, says Kat. And Harry Brown says, evening unionists all around the world. And of course, to a force for good. Hi, Catherine. Adam says, we have a new SNP Westminster leader and deputy leader, don't we just? Paul says, good evening from the Garden of England, Kent. Hello to Derek and to Stuart. Good evening, Stuart. Good to see everybody in the, in the house tonight. Now, let me tell you, to enter our giveaway, which is celebrating our fifth annual Yule Britannia Christmas Crowdfunder. Okay, we're going to be running these giveaways on every show and we're going to be running them at least once a week. And all you need to do to be in with the chance of winning is to like and on Facebook is to like this post, comment on it and share it. And also, if you're not already following us, please follow. And if you're on Twitter, to enter, all you need to do is to like, comment, and retweet. And if you're watching on YouTube, simply like and comment. And this will run for seven days. And next Wednesday night, we'll tell you who the winner is. And what are our prizes? The It's a little package of prizes. We've got a, a Union Jack sandwich cooler type thing. Which, which sips out into a wee, uh, cooler for sandwiches. And it also folds up into that. We're throwing in a London, England tea towel into the mix. There's the design of it there. And we're going to wrap all that up 
with this high quality Union Jack plastic shopping bag. Three little items there for our giveaway. A sandwich bag. Somebody's going to tell me what the proper name for that is. A tea towel and a Union Jack bag. And that will be going to the lucky winner. All you have to do to enter is simply like and follow and retweet and share. And we've got some software that will be able to just to zip through it and just pick a random winner and we'll contact you and send all that gear to you. Good stuff. Well, let me tell you folks about our fifth annual Yule Britannia Christmas crowdfunder. It's going live at 7.30 just before we speak to our man, Kaylin Wynn. Somebody says, do you get paid by Westminster? No, it would be great though to be able to be paid by Westminster in the manner of the Scottish National Party MPs, for example, who get paid at least £84,000 a year to actually try to destroy the place. Isn't that ridiculous, eh? Isn't well, it's, it's, it's maybe just the way that it works, but you'd think they'd at least have some gratitude because it's not as if they're going to have a job anywhere else in life at that kind of salary. I mean to say, and that's before they even get their expenses. So no, we get absolutely nothing from Westminster and we don't even get thanks from them. Um, David says 30% of the SNP don't want independence. Well, that's interesting. I know that at least 30% of the SNP don't uh, want to be members of the EU, despite what the Scottish National Party seems to imagine. There's a, a significant number of them who don't want understandably, to give away their independence to Brussels. Um, chat there says, refreshing to see someone who wants the union. Isn't it just, isn't it just on TikTok, we are the premier broadcasters for the union and we're only getting bigger. And you know, we wanted to end TikTok, folks, on seven and a half thousand followers. We're now hitting just about nine and a half thousand and we think we might even hit 10,000 by the end of the year, which is amazing progress on TikTok. We got, and this is really a really good thing that we've done this year. I mean, thanks to our, our TikTok curator who is top notch. But in the last two months, we've had over 1,200,000 views on the videos on TikTok. I mean, it just goes flying. Uh, amazing, amazing. It's a best video channel of them all by a mile. It's absolutely great news. Absolutely great news, Anthony. Gratitude is unknown among the nationalists, says Christopher. And that's our TikTok channel. They are tiktok.com forward slash at UK, a force for good. Frankie said, thoughts on Gordon Brown's report? Well, do you know what? Um, I have not yet summoned up the courage to read it because I know I'm going to need a strong stomach to read that one, Frankie. But from what I've read, his big sort of thing seems to be to to abolish the House of Lords and replace it with the Senate of the Nations, which would it would not would only replicate the the uh, the lower house. It would only replicate the House of Commons as far as uh, those sorts of things were concerned. But I would need to to read more about what his intentions are. However, one thing we know about Gordon Brown is he never learns from his mistakes. In fact, he doubles down on his mistakes. If you, if uh, the problem in the Scottish, uh, the problem of Scottish independence is a consequence of um, devolution, then the answer is more devolution as far as Gordon Brown is concerned. So I wouldn't really look to him for any solutions to our problem. But if you wanted to look to him to see how can you dig a bigger hole that will be harder and harder to get out of as the years go on, then Gordon Brown's definitely a man for that. In fact, he wrote the book on digging a hole deeper, published by Penguin in the last year. I jest, of course. Derek says, great to hear TikTok doing so well. Great stuff. William says, take a day off. I'm never going to take a day off. It would be great to take a day off though, William, but saving the country is a full-time job. It really is a full-time job. Somebody's got to do it. Yes, going back to uh, the the crowdfunder today, it launches at 7.30 when we'll put up the, we'll put up the link to it at 7.30. But basically, we are looking at uh, 
all the things that we've done this year and all the things that we want to, to do this year. And we've had some really good activities this year. It began with um, our street stalls, our Jubilee street stalls. We've had nine of those. We've also counted every single Scottish Nationalist march that they had. And we have recorded those numbers for posterity on our website. And we also had two counter demos at two of those particular events. And we also had our own events in and of themselves as well. The One of the best, of course, was the Stirling event, our Bruce to Elizabeth, our Great British Monarchy Platinum Jubilee Celebration Rally, which was back which was back in June and really was fantastic. Let's put a pic of that up there. Look at that. Eh? Talk about colour. We really do colour so well, don't we? We've got these fantastic flags um, and brilliant designers that we've got. That's a great banner that one of our designers produced. Thank, thanks to them for doing that. And that's one of our Jubilee Street stalls there. We had nine of those and we were welcomed with great aplomb by the by the great British public when we were doing them in the centre of Glasgow this summer. And we were lucky this summer because the weather was, was fantastic. And um, we'll just, we'll just uh, before we go on to the next picture, we'll take that one off. And I just want to show you another great thing that's, that's occurred. In the office, finally, issue seven of Union Heart, our magazine, arrived last weekend and it's already been sent to all the monthly donors who are on the mailing list for it so if it hasn't arrived yet it will be with you this week let's hope but it got sent uh, last weekend but of course there's a wee bit of uh, delay with the mail at the moment but the concept behind this is that we are committing to print all of our busting indie myths sections that we've been doing and that we will be doing in the future and at the moment we've done 22 of them well this covers 10 of them and it covers 10 which are related around a second separation referendum and um, we talk about um, you know Britain is a unitary state and a nation the the SNP supporters don't like to hear that. We talk about the democratic, constitutional and popular mandates that the British Parliament has. Again, the SNP don't like to hear that. We talk about the Brexit and British independence and how that does not in any sense justify a second referendum. And we talk about the importance of not just consent, but also of law in holding the nation together. The Scottish National Party don't like to hear about the law, obviously, and they just pretend that it doesn't exist. We talk about the fact here that Scotland already has self-determination, and we talk about how the concept of self-determination under international law does not apply to Scotland. Because Scotland is not a colony and Scotland is not an oppressed nation and Scotland is not discriminated against despite, despite the fantasies of the Scottish National Party and its supporters. We talk about our democratic rights and how it's democratic not to be subjected to constant referendums and we throw in a couple of red herring phrases here that we deal with specifically we are not scared to have another we're simply sensible because we know we've got nothing to gain and also the concept that we trust the people but that does not mean that we want a second separation referendum and then at the back here how to help us and how to buy our products and there's that fantastic picture that you've just seen now this is available free to our monthly donors and if you haven't got yours within a week do drop us a message you should get yours within this week but if you'd like it and you're a monthly donor just just contact us and we'll get it in the post to you for those who are not monthly donors it's available at our shop fraser points out the problems with democracy in Scotland under the Scottish National Party. That's that's absolutely so. Also, 
7.30, Kaelin Wynn from Dramatic Scotland Creations. Don't forget, folks, we've got our giveaway for our, our sandwich cooler and for our high-quality shopping bag. To win, to be in a chance with winning, all you need to do is like, comment, share, and follow, whether you're on Facebook or Twitter or on YouTube. We haven't worked out a way yet on how to do it on TikTok, folks. Okay, let's uh, let's just go back to those uh, pictures that we were that we were looking at, and that's us at the stand up to Sturgeon event when she was in the fringe, and a group of us went along to say that Sturgeon is not Scotland, and she shouldn't be pretending that she is. We like this photograph because it appeared on the day that uh, the Queen's body left Scotland. And it says, we owe it to the Queen to cherish our union. And of course, what we like about that, what appeared in the Daily Express, is that amazing picture of us unionists, a force for good there with our thin red line. And somebody said to me that there was footage of our thin red line on STV News this evening. They used it to illustrate... Uh, a report, and so not quite sure what the report was, but it would be some some nonsense about the Scottish National Party. But at least they've got the visuals there that they can now use for us as well. And this was us just uh, a few days ago outside Holyrood, and that was when the Supreme Court made its judgment. We are saying we want to stay in the UK and we were standing across from the Sturgeon fanboys and fangirls as she and her associates were talking complete mints to the to the Sturgeon brigade and we were keeping the British end up and that's a great photograph there that appeared across the British media doing a lot and we're going to be needed next year as well we really are going to be needed next year and we want to build, we want to maintain where we are and we want to build upon it, especially we want to build upon our video channels as well because that's the way that we really get seen and heard. And David there on TikTok says, Nicola is mince. Totally agree. Andrew sends some Union Jack flags. Thanks for the supports, the support chaps. Now, just before the bottom of the hour, um, on this day, on this day in British history, on this day, on this day in British history, a, a very brave but also very tragic event in British military history. It was this day on the 7th of December 1942 that 10 Royal Marines uh, disembarked from the submarine HMS Tuna. And they set out in canoes, uh, which were nicknamed cockles, cockle shells, to attack the German-occupied port at Bordeaux. And only two of them were to make it home. And they've become immortalized as the cockle shell heroes. And it was in this day that their adventure, tragic adventure, began. And... It was a very eclectic group of Britons that day. It was under the command of the the Dublin Irishman, Major H. Hassler, and the Scots Lieutenant, J.W. MacKinnon. And their aim was to sail into the port of Bordeaux and sink as many cargo ships as they possibly could. But unfortunately, two of them uh, were to perish in the sea before they were even to reach the port and the others one uh, mckinnon wallace lavar and marines conway mills and ewart were captured and they were to die by firing squad and it was only major hassler and marine sparks who were to make it home after an incredible overland escape and we've got a um a picture here of the memorial in stockport there to that's james Marine James Conway, who was who was uh, executed at age only twenty, and that's an interesting 
design there showing him paddling from HMS Tuna to to the shore. So that that began on this day. And one of the one of the Marines there, Marine Ewart, was actually from Glasgow. And I've always thought it'd be good to have a statue to Marine Ewart um, for his sacrifice because he was he was executed at the age of only nineteen. And not many people know about that. And his particular sacrifice. So that was the Cockle Shell Heroes began their adventure into history and into destiny on this day in 1942. And on a lighter note, on this day, Billy Bremner, the great Scottish footballer, he, well, it's not actually a lighter note because he passed away, didn't he, as well? This was on 7th of December 1997, two days before his 54th birthday. And I remember Billy Bremner. I used to watch him back in the 70s. Great player. Used to love him. And I loved the fact that uh, Leeds United as well seemed to be at that time almost completely made up of Scots. And they all played for the Scottish football team. It was the most strange thing. And that was one of the things, uh, I guess, when I was young, when I liked football, that made me feel quite British, actually, was the fact that Leeds United, England's best football team at that time, was completely made up of Scots, or so it seemed anyway, several of them playing for the Scottish football team. And Billy Bremner, in fact, had 54 caps for Scotland. And he went on to continue to his professional career right up until 1982, when he finished with Doncaster Rovers. And then he went on and he became Leeds United manager and also Doncaster Rovers manager. And it was in Doncaster where he died of a heart attack just two days before his 55th birthday. Okay, that was Billy Bremner. I see that our man, Caelan, Caelan Wynn of Traumatic Scotland Productions, is in the in the green room. So I'm just going to bring him on. Cool. Let's bring in our man, Caelan. Folks, please give a big welcome to Caelan coming into the stream. Hello How's there, Caelan. Yeah, good, good. Thanks very much for coming on the show tonight. And uh, I, we haven't had you on for about nine months or so. I think we been might while, have had you. Yeah. yeah, it's been a while and it's been too long, as they say. And if you're watching on TikTok, you'll see this on youtube.com forward slash UK, a force for good. But Kaylin, I'll just introduce you for the folks who don't know. You are the mastermind behind Dramatic Scotland which is a woodworking company. Uh, is that how you would define it? There you go. That produces amazing flags like that 32-inch um, Union Jack. Okay, now that's produced for, from wood and you've got some amazing, amazing designs. We'll talk about those in a minute. But in our crowdfunder, which will have started two minutes ago, we are offering your flags as rewards for significant donations. And so that's the reason why we want you on today. Now, people can buy it directly from you, of course, um, or they can make a, a bigger donation to us and they'll get one of your flags thrown in if they select the reward button for that. And we'll just put up our crowdfunder link just now um, while uh, we we talk about that. But... You, I, I've got one of your flags here, and I just want to look at this. Oh, look at that, folks. That's a, a Union, what do you call this? Union Jack Shields, I would say, or mm. Britannia Shields. Absolutely, absolutely. And this is this is heavier. This is like, I mean... That's quite a thick one, yeah. Serious, serious... Uh, production this and beautifully varnished beautifully varnished in in these colors as well and the wood seems to hold that amazing color it's really good look at the folk on tiktok i mean folk if you want this you can get you can get it from um dramatic scotland we'll just put up your address there um there we are facebook.com dramatic scotland now caitlin What's all that behind you? So all of this stuff behind me, um, what I started to do is um, 
I'm moving into more engraving on hardwood. So all of the flags and stuff, they're all made on like pine and stuff. But I started to move towards doing single piece designs as well. So you've got like maps of countries. I've done a couple of these with the, U- the whole UK. Um, so yeah, I started kind of doing more variations in what I do. So I still do the flags and stuff, but I'm also doing specific engravings on like nice bits of expensive wood. Let's see that that one again about the UK. Hold that up for a li- little bit longer. That looks so amazing. This one is just Scotland. Oh, that's Scotland, um, right? Look at yeah, that. That's beautifully but, done. Beautifully. A nice piece. Where would you get the wood from? So this wood is actually, um, it was well, Highland Elm. So I guess it locally. And right. it's usually, it usually comes in big slabs and you can cut it down. So right. I'll just show this one here. Um, there's a mountain in Scotland called uh, Michelle Eatith Moor. It's the big triangle one. In Glencoe, you're probably oh, right, yeah. familiar in, with it. In yeah. Glencoe, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this is it on the triangular piece of wood, the whole mountain. Okay, just bring it, bring it a little closer. How would you pronounce that again? Uh eat of more. Right, right. So, um, um, it's it's basically one of Scotland's most uh, famous mountains, and then right. I've also been doing lots of Celtic crosses. Celtic crosses, as, uh, yeah. As well, yeah. yeah. Good. Well, what I like about your your work there, Kaylin, is it well, it appeals across the board to to people who are into the U, the UK designs and people who are into just simply the maybe just the more specific Celtic designs or uh, the Celtic cross designs and and so on. It's really a, a nice uh, full package there, as it as it were. Um, really good stuff. Now we've got some. Of yours, that that uh, Union Jack shield that I've just held up, we've got. I think mm-hmm. there's one, or two of those, on offer at our crowdfunder, yeah. and there is um, one Scottish shield which is just the saltire, and then you, there's the, there's a wee couple of wee laser prints actually for of a particular football team. Do you have them available? There you go. Look at that Rangers football club. Rangers Football Club, 1872 laser print. Um, what's the dimensions of that, Caelan? Uh, so this one's coming in about 50 centimetres by 30. So it's quite a nice and small one. It's not too heavy. So, okay. And there's two of these available on the crowdfunder. Right, yes. Yes, we've got... There's a couple of those available on the crowdfunder for, I think it's £70 or something like that. Um, so you can you can get that and you can also donate to a force for good at the same time. Fantastic idea. Fantastic idea. Um, but I also have specific designs as well. So this one is only in the crowdfunder. It won't be sold privately. And this is the Ulster Union Jack. Very wow, just, 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 just hold it there so we can have a good look at that. That's really, really nice. That's half of it is the red hand of Ulster flag and the other half is the Union Jack merged together in wood, uh, painted like that, varnished. It's really, really good. We've That's, I think, one of the top selling items or top rewards that we've got on our crowdfunder also. Um, so th- thank you for that. Uh, there should be a few people who'd really quite like that. Now, we'll just put up the, the crowdfunder um, uh, ticker at the bottom so that people know where to go for the crowdfunder if they want to get straight in there and claim that because we've only got one of those Ulster flags uh, going. What what else have you got your hand on there? So I've got another flag um, which I was going to reserve it for a gift shop this year but they haven't actually got back to me in time. So there's an, an, another piece which if you want Ulster you can include it in your crowdfunder as well. And it okay. is the big American... UK. Oh wow! Look at that. Just just hold that there. That's half the stars and stripes and half a Union Jack. What sort of dimensions is that you're talking about, Kaylin? So this one's coming in about thirty-eight inches. This is the largest possible size that I can post across the UK. Right. Yeah. Yes, because these these it should be said can only really be posted in the United Kingdom. So I'm afraid if you're in America and you want that shipped out, well. It would it would probably cost a pretty penny. That's that's uh, for. Have, do you ever uh, ship it abroad? Costs as much as the flag. Sorry. Uh, yeah, do I shipped to Australia before, um, but it's quite risky because, say, for example, if you ship something that's like two hundred pounds, the actual item cost the postage cost just as much as the item. 
So essentially, um, the customer has to pay twice as much. And also, if if anything gets lost or damaged, it's like I have to refund that as well. So I yes. tend to just focus in the UK. But I, I, I do post abroad if it's small items that I know. If it was something like this, which I know was not going to break, you know, it's a one-piece thing. Probably yes. more trust or something like that. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Because these, these are... Um... Absolutely, I totally understand. I totally understand your point. And um, but we've got two of your items in the office. We've got this amazing. I'm just going to hold it up again because it's so great. This shield, and uh, is the one. Is the one. The, is the it's sorry. Are the ones that you've got on the crowdfunder? Are they the same design as this, or are they lighter? Oh, it's, so. It's the same uh, colors, but the shield crosses, they've got a more pronounced cross. So the actual raised red, the St. George's cross is about coming about four centimeters. But on the small, on the Union Jacks that I've got, um, you're talking about a cross, which is about two centimeters. So the, it's not as pronounced, but it's still the same design, roughly. Right. Just hold it up. Right. Yeah, so, yeah. So it's a bit, these ones are a bit lighter to hold. But it's still, still yes. very similar. Yeah. yeah, yeah, good, brilliant. Well, we've got a few of those, and we really want to shift. We want to shift those Union Jack ones because they're coming in at a really good price this year. We've um, we've set the we've set the price to to uh, a level that uh, that people will appreciate. I think so. Let's shift as many of those Union Jacks as we as we possibly yeah. can. Well, I've Definitely. got about I've got about twenty of these in stock, and they all they all need to go to their new homes. They all need to go to the new homes throughout the length and breadth yeah. of the of the United Kingdom. That's that's yeah. for absolutely certain. Good, good. And once once these twenty one ships, that will be a total of two hundred of these unions across the UK. So they'll mm-hmm. be quite a good marker to say. Wow. Which I'm looking forward to. So, so yeah, I'm sitting at about one hundred and eighty right now. And I've got 20 more to go until we get to the big 200. Wow. You, the fact that 100, 180 people have bought that wooden Union Jack, that's brilliant stuff. Well done. Well yeah. done. Well it's done quite something work. to think about. Like, it's, like a, it's one of those things where like, I, it's cool knowing that something that you've made is somewhere. You know, um, There's probably a couple of people here who watch. Um, there's a podcast on YouTube called The Podcast of the Lotus Eaters. Um they're quite mm-hmm. a large podcast, but they actually have one of these in their studio. Um, and it's every day I see it, and it's just nice knowing that you've got something that you've made. It's like hanging on their set, and it gets seen by like tens of thousands of people. Yes. Well, you did uh, a Force for Goods flag um, that we had on our show for all of last year. And in this... Uh, this year we've moved to a slightly different studio where we don't have an opportunity to hang it in the background. But as soon as that changes, we'll get that flag back up again and we'll be hanging oh, that oh, also sorry. in the background. But yeah. um, uh, it, it, it's really, I wasn't uh, it's really fantastic. That, uh, you're in the background, but it, it's just one of those things. Like, it, it's always cool seeing them. Oh, about. yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, and it's good to have. It's good for us to be able to show that, um, that you're... Uh, that we've got somebody that can do that kind of work is is absolutely great. Um, just a few people just saying hi to you. Debbie says hi. Um, Hello, Debbie. She, uh, she, good. She's a, I've seen a lot of her photos on Facebook. She does a lot of like nice scenic stuff around Aberdeen. It's quite Deb- impressive. A lot of it. Debbie's an amazing a lot of her photographer. Northern light stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Debbie's great with the camera. Derek says it's good to see Kaylin again. Anna liked the Rangers plaque. Just give that another uh, another uh, airing there. There you go. That's uh, thirty centimeters wide by fifty centimeters tall. I'm not sure what that is in English, but I'll convert it into inches in a moment. Oh, sorry, I, I should be using <laughs> inches. So yeah, we're probably about probably about twenty two inches by. By about twelve, I think. Yes, like yes, that, yeah. yes. It is, isn't it? Thirty is uh, twelve inches. Yeah, thirty centimeters is twelve inches. I remember that. I could be way off with that. 
I'm just so used to, it's one of these things where I'm so used to just measuring. Everything I've done has always been in centimetres, so I don't make any errors. So it's Of course. Just, uh, of course, but both both systems are really good, actually, in their own place. You know, um, they're they're good in their own place. Um, yeah, Michael Bridges says it's a good idea to send one of your stuff, your uh, creations, to Nicola Sturgeon. She needs more British patriotism. Yeah, I mean, it'd be good actually. I, I know that Nigel Farage. He's got one of these unions. I sent one off to him uh, two years ago, so he's got oh, yeah. one of these ones in his um, in his office for the. Reform Party, I think that's his one. Yeah, they've got it in his in his office in like the forty eight bit. But yeah, wow. Sturgeon can wow. one. As well. Yeah, well, yeah. Good. Or maybe yeah. You know, even just from a purely uh, point of view, of you could you could do a, a laser print of Sturgeon's face. You know, and uh, just and in a nice way. You know, you should probably buy it and stick it up there that, um, in our office. You know? Yeah, because she loves she loves. Um, getting paintings of herself and things like that so if you just sent her one and said Nicholas Sturgeon I'm your greatest fan then she would possibly put that up in her office invite you in like a, a, a self portrait you know and then yeah yeah and you'd be in the, uh, the be STV yeah. would love it they'd do a whole program about it and then you'd be the centre of attention and it'd be like oh this guy's you just know does all back on them yeah yeah, he's also a unionist. Yeah. And then she'd be like, oh, I wish I'd looked into that. Catherine well, thinks this stuff's thing lovely. With, uh, oh, thanks, Catherine. Yeah, well, the thing is, a, a lot of people who would look at my, Scott, my my Facebook page, they would just assume that I just do, like, island stuff because I, I'm, I'm kind of focusing more on, like, local shops and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it kind of, like, surprises them when they actually see it's not just... You can be both. You know, you can like the highlands without... Hating the English, you know. Um, absolutely, absolutely. Are you, I mean, there's, there's all the great stuff about the Scottish Highlands and all of that to to push out. That's that's great, and it's part of what being British is all about. Um, and people who would want to just say, "Oh no, that's not for the enjoyment of everybody else. It's just our little area where we want to to live and don't want any people from the rest of the United Kingdom coming to it." I mean, that would be very unusual and, and silly. And so what, what we're all about is being Scottish and British and, and celebrating that, that culture uh, and the amazing culture that we've got here in Scotland and um, throughout the rest of the British Isles. Anna says Northern Ireland as well. Have you got that Northern Ireland one back up? Let's just find that one out. There you go, Anna. There it is again. <laughs> you... Anybody who's interested in that, that's the only one in Britain at the moment, and it's available at our crowdfunder.co.uk forward slash AFFG 2023. Good, good, good. Harry says you're really talented. Thanks, Harry. Harvey says, where do you get these? Well, th there's... Uh, there's some of them are going to be available and are available right now at our crowdfunder.co.uk forward slash AFFG 2023. Otherwise, you can get them from Kalen and his Facebook page, which uh, we'll just put the link up there in a in a second. How Harvey? There it is. Facebook.com forward slash Dramatic Scotland. Harvey says, "Do you make, do you make one with the four nations flags on it? That would be a complex creation. Have you ever done anything like that?" Um, the closest I've done to that one is probably my Welsh UK one with just mm -hmm. the two, but I should maybe do one that's got four quadrants on it. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's definitely possible. Anything can literally be be done. It just takes a bit of planning. So. Uh, planning and craftsmanship, I think, is the bottom line there. Planning and craftsmanship. The Welsh Dragon and Union Jack combination flag is also available at our crowdfunder.co.uk. Yeah. A lot of people loving your stuff tonight, Caelan. Thank you very much for, for uh, assisting with our crowdfunder, as you've done now for for several years third year, yeah. it's a, it's, the third it's, year it's good to be back. and we always 
we always shift uh, several of your items every Christmas. Uh, it's a good time for people to to buy them. Uh, some people buy them for the clubhouse. Some people buy them for um, friends for a significant occasion, like a retirement or something like that. And other people just buy them because they love them and they want to put them up in their living room or in their gym or in their workshop or wherever. And it should also be said, if people have an idea, they can come to you and, and they can ask you directly, can you make something for me? Can you laser print something for me? Do you want to just talk to that for a minute? Yeah. So um, something that's been quite popular is personalized items for people. So it's usually marking a special occasion. So I've had quite a few requests for like wedding portraits and stuff and also photos of dogs that have since like passed as well. Um, so basically I can literally just print about, well, it's a, laser engraved so the, the image will not fade it'll be like permanently um engraved as it would it can be just about any image so if, if you have any like a special occasion or a moment or a date or something it can all be permanently etched onto wood just like this map of scotland or or even like other things like trees and stuff you can do like this is a this is a natural burr of a tree right right if yeah, you that's have nice. anything that you want to be like frames on wood I can definitely yeah you can do it. well that's a good thought you know people got uh, pets or uh, significant family moments or something like that that they want as you say to be put down for posterity on wood um, then you're the man to come to uh, facebook.com forward slash dramatic Scotland tell them that a force for good sent you Kaylin, thank you very much for everything. Um, anything you want to just say as, as a final farewell? Um, yeah, well, okay, so I do a lot of large items as well, but recently I've been doing a lot of smaller tourist items and um, even little silly things, like mm -hmm. currently these have been selling quite well, like little things with like a Loch Ness monster on it. Oh, yeah. Things. So it's not, just, it's not just large things. I do bottle openers, um, uh, chopping boards below I, I literally do every single um, thing when it comes to doing T to wood engravings and stuff as well yes yeah, so it's, it's a whole variation so even if you think you're the idea is crazy or whatever I've had I've had so many crazy requests I'm more than capable to kind of fulfill Abs it for anyone absolutely you, you absolutely are and well, when I saw what you did with uh, the Force for Good flag, which was basically like basically that, you turned it into wood um, with the words and everything in it. I was just, I, I was astonished. So anything you want from coasters to to flags to any kind of design that you think would look good on wood, or even your local football club, Leeds United, Doncaster mm -hmm. Rovers, Hull City, whatever. If you want it for the clubhouse, if you want it, uh, you know, for your uh, man shed whatever then simply just contact facebook.com forward slash dramatic scotland and i know you'll find a sympathetic voice in kaylin kaylin thanks for everything we're going to say uh goodbye to you just now okay. more power to your you. elbow and 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 yeah. keep keep doing this wonderful work for the united kingdom and we'll we'll speak we'll speak shortly all the best yes thank you bye now bye Fantastic, absolutely fantastic craftsman is is Kaylin Wynn of Facebook.com forward slash dramatic Scotland. And that's our crowdfunder, folks. It's up and running. It went live at 7.30 and it will be running through until the 4th of January, 28 days crowdfunder.co.uk forward slash AFFG 2023 and we need your help to keep standing for the UK and we'll be entering our um, 12th year of work next year isn't that wonderful thank you to everybody who helps here at A Force for Good and everybody in the comments and everybody who's been working really hard to, to, to deliver the pro-UK message throughout Scotland this year 
and here's to next year. Now, folks, remember our giveaway. We'll speak about the, the winner in a moment, but we have a giveaway, which is our Union Jack sandwich cooler bag, our tea towel, London, England, with various London designs on it, all wrapped up in a high-quality plastic shopping bag, which doubles as a Union Jack. And to enter that, all you need to do is on Facebook, like, comment, and share, and follow us if you're not already following, and on Twitter, like, comment, and retweet, and on YouTube, like, and comment, and we'll run those posts through our fancy software and we'll have the winner for you on the show next week and we'll send that to that person absolutely free absolutely wonderful thank you for watching um, the best unionist show on TikTok there's nothing like us around nothing's ever going to come around like us so please if you're on TikTok give us a follow and let's get to 10,000 by midnight on the 31st of December. Let's get to 10,000 followers on TikTok. Wouldn't that be amazing? Also on TikTok, we've got a shop coming. We've got a TikTok shop coming and we're going to be selling the best in pro UK gear and flags. And wee books, which is a great stocking filler, folks. You'll get a wee book for the union. And that's a... a a great wee educational read. It's only a fiver at our shop, at our website shop, as well, of course, as our glorious British Christmas cards, which are free to people who are monthly donors. And you can get uh, 15 cards free if you're a monthly donor. Otherwise, you can get these at our shop, which is a forceforgood.uk forward slash shop hyphen one. And don't forget also our new magazine which is already winging its way to those who have requested it and who normally receive it so folks that brings us to the end of our program an hour passed very quickly we will be back next wednesday when we will have another guest as well and we will have another giveaway and we will have the winner of this week's giveaway also watch during midweek when we're going to do a post on our Facebook and Twitter, which will be another giveaway as well, because we've got some great items here. But folks, remember, please share, like, comment, follow, and you'll be in with a chance of winning. So folks, it just remains for me to say thank you for watching. God bless the United Kingdom and God save the King. See you next week.